So right now it's Don Jr. and Russia. That's the scandal. Um, this was being discussed on CNN between Chris, uh, DNC pool boy Cuomo, and Kellyanne Conway. And here's what's important. Before this portion of the interview, I encourage you to go watch the whole interview. It's about 34 minutes long. Chris Cuomo is just saying, Donald Trump Jr., Donald Trump Jr. said it himself. He said it himself. He met with this Russian lawyer to discuss the hacking. That's how he's setting it up. And then finally, this is what happens. No, no, you got to give the whole statement to be fair to him and to be fair to your viewers. Let's stop chopping it up. He then and says, to go viral put, put, the the put the statement yeah, up. Put the statement up. You're the going. one who's parsing, not me. Put, put the, the statement up. up. Okay, let's, let's bring it up. Put it up. Let's bring it up. Put the statement up. After pleasantries were exchanged, the woman stated that she had information that individuals connected to Russia, his word, were funding the Democratic National Committee and supporting Ms. Clinton. Her statements he ended it there were vague, before. ambiguous, and made no sense. No details or supporting information was provided there you go. or even offered. It quickly became clear she had no meaningful information. Oh, oh see, the context changes it. And surprise. here's what's important with the Trump-Russia scandal. I'm not saying that there couldn't be something happening with Trump and Russia. I'm certainly not saying that there's nobody in his cabinet, nobody in the, in the group of folks who ran his campaign who might have unsavory ties to Russia. That's not what I'm saying. But when it comes to the media and their handling of the Russia scandal, uh, this is a, a constant through line. And this is, th th this is why this is important. If you read a debate book, or if you watch a Ben Shapiro, uh, Ben Shapiro seminar, there will be tactics. There will be ways to lead questions. There will be rules like don't ever ask a question you don't know the answer to. Kind of the same thing as legal tactics when you're actually litigating. Okay, something that is not in the rule book is all right. Just bring up the full transcript. Just bring, and do you know why? It's not a technique. It's not a tactic. It only works when you say just bring up the full transcript if you know that you're telling the truth and your opponent is lying. That's the only way it works. No one is saying, oh, I'm going to cut him off at the pass. And it, no, it's, listen, I know you're lying. Just show what he said. And then that happened. It is constant. Unnamed sources, uh, anonymous bylines that come up with stories that then turn out to be, if not complete falsehoods, certainly being tweaked, certainly being massaged to try and create another Russia scandal. And that's why if you look at the studies, there's a study that showed they've, they've spent an inordinate amount of time on Russia the media, certainly more than on issues that most Americans care about if you poll them, like the economy, like healthcare. They spend a huge amount of time on Russia. Why? We'll talk about that at the end of this segment. And you have to watch the full thing. Also, by the way, am I, I, with Chris Cuomo, this is ad hominem, I get it. Am I the only one that finds when he is conducting an interview, he always looks as though he is surprised by a sudden urge and then panic to go to the bathroom? First of all, if you were and I, if you were, and I were, were in court right now. Is it? Yep, that's the coffee kicking in. Have to take a dump, have to take a dump, have to go. Can I make it to the commercial break? Is it eight minutes? Maybe it's seven? <sighs> I can make it if it's five. I gotta go, oh, it's four. Okay, I can definitely make it four minutes. Mm, gotta go. I don't think he can make it four minutes. <laughs> so, okay, let's go through a timeline here. This is important because Don, Donald Trump Jr. won't even be, if we were to do a timeline of Trump and Russia mm -hmm. six months from now, this is a blip. It won't even be on the radar. We had to try and condense this down from hundreds to a handful just to point out how many scandals have been falsified that you've forgotten about. First one, obviously, was when uh, in the campaign they accused Donald Trump of hacking the DNC, remember? Yep. With Russia. He was colluding with Russia and he hacked the DNC and Podesta was singing, singing this from the rooftops as loud as he could. No, it turned out that Podesta actually just fell victim to a phishing email because he's a moron and his password allegedly was password. <laughs> January 10th, BuzzFeed. They said that Russia has compromising dirt on Donald Trump, like sex tapes and contact with Russian hookers. This was, you know, this was the whole, he would uh, pay Russian prostitutes to pee on furniture, I guess. We always thought it was some, some kind of water sport venture with mm -hmm. Donald Trump and Russia prostitutes. Golden showers. What was the truth? The truth was that it was a report prepared by retired British intelligence officer as specifically opposition research for Trump opponents. And by the way, he was unnamed at first and it turned out to be complete BS. This was not new information. It was something that was compiled for the campaign Turned out to be complete BS. Let's go to another claim. Claim number three, May 9th in the New York Times, they said that Comey was fired because Trump tried to stop an ongoing investigation. This was weeks, weeks, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. The truth, Comey said in his own hearing that Trump never even asked him to drop the Russia investigation. And they ran with this, again, unnamed sources, saying that he was fired. And, and, and the reason that this matters so much is because one thing that you'll understand is, is as you watch media now, it's really expensive to actually 
do investigative reporting. Mm -hmm. It's really expensive to actually go and, and dig for news. It's a it lot cheaper and it's a lot more profitable to just put a panel together to talk about something. Let's go to claim number four. This was May 10th. They said that Rosenstein, Ro Rosenstein, Rosenstein threatened to quit after Trump fired Comey. According again to an unnamed source. This was in Washington Post. What was the truth? Rosenstein himself said that he never threatened to quit. A lot of CNN and BuzzFeed and Washington Post. Let's look at another claim. Number five, this was May 15th. Trump revealed classified information to the Russians during the meetings with Lavrov and Kislyak, according to an anonymous source. Look at me, I try to put the Russian lilt on there. Yeah, Again, yeah. another anonymous source. This was Washington Post. The truth? People who were there, McMaster, Tillerson, Deputy of National Security Advisor Dina Powell, all denied the report. Now, is there some he said, she said? Sure, but they didn't run with that. They ran with it as a fact. And then yeah. the people who would have first-hand knowledge said, no, no, that's not true. Number six, June 14th, again, Washington Post. Trump is under investigation for obstruction of justice, according to, yet again, an unnamed source. We don't know if it's true. Here's the thing, we don't know if this is true because the White uh, Washington Post is once again using an mm -hmm. unnamed source. We've talked about this with James O'Keefe. Sometimes you have to protect your sources if their life is in jeopardy. But they're not in jeopardy here, and it's always an anonymous source. It's always some byline with no one attached to it. And Trump's lawyers deny that the president is under investigation at all. So they want to present this idea that Donald Trump is directly under investigation because of ties with Russia and colluding to hack the election. They have provided no proof, no substantiated proof whatsoever, and it is a constantly moving target. We've had liberal guests on this show where they go, well, hold on, that, that was wrong, the BuzzFeed thing was wrong, well, the fake dossier was wrong, but what about just happened this week? What about Comey? We've had them on the show when that happened, and it's hard for us to refute it, because we said, well, hold on, we don't know if any of that's true. Well, an unnamed source says it. And then ultimately, what is the undoing of all of these Trump-Russia scandals? Unnamed source? The undoing is transparency. The undoing is more light. That's the big difference. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. You can see that right-wingers, conservatives, they truly believe that. When it comes to Trump, right now, the left is constantly operating in the dark because they require it. And every single scandal I just named you was solved, we got to the truth, when there was more transparency and we were given more information. That's why someone like Kellyanne Conway can say, oh, you know what, why don't you just run the full transcript? That's why we can just say, oh, really? Let's go to the tail of the tape. You don't even need to argue. You don't need to be a skilled debater. You just need to wait for the facts to come out. And that's why people don't trust the media anymore. And that's why we continually have unnamed sources and unsubstantiated claims about Donald Trump and Russia because what happens? Well, when CNN starts starts losing in the cable news ratings again to all other networks and even Bill Cosby reruns on Nick at Night. Quick, quick, hurry. It's time to fabricate another fake Russia scandal. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. It's, at, it's in a, it's a circle now. It used to be a square, which most buttons aren't squares. Unless it's on a phone. There are square buttons on phones, but most buttons are circles. You understand what I'm talking about. Or watch the recommended video, which is popping up in a box. Or subscribe at ladderwithcrowder.com slash mug club. Join the mug club so you can get the daily show. And that means that you are not beholden to the YouTube censoring overlords. But let's be honest. You like being there where you are, under their thumb. Power bottom you.